When a couple gets along so well after a split, it can be hard to understand what went wrong in the first place. Lisa Bonet and Lenny Kravitz appeared to be the picture of perfection. Shockwaves went through the media in 1991 when they separated, and the papers just about exploded when they finalized their divorce two years later. But what went wrong? From fate to soul connections to a devastating split to the ultimate blended family, Lisa and Lenny have it all. Let's dive in. Going through divorce and then having to get the relationship back on track as far as being friends and being family and raising a daughter. and The celebrity romance of our lifetime. Well, at least of the 80s. It was also the romance of their lifetime. Well, for one of them. She really helped to um, bring out the best in me and inspired me. Lenny admits that he was besotted with Lisa even though he was engaged to someone else. He first saw her on the cover of a magazine and told a friend, I'm going to marry that girl. Talk about manifestation, right? Eventually, they met by chance in a backstage elevator at a new edition concert. He was a struggling musician and she was a stylish and free-spirited actress in her heyday for her role as Denise Huxtable on The Cosby Show. But their meet cute wasn't as romantic as you'd expect. Kravitz turned to Bonet and said he liked her hair, and that was it. It was a lame line, one of the worst lines in the history of bad lines. I kind of blew it. I choked. I was mesmerized, and I mean, I did like her hair. It was beautiful, he said. We get it, Lenny. That is the power of Lisa Bonet. Their relationship began as a friendship, evolved into a roommate ship, and eventually a romance. When he realized he had strong feelings for Bonet, he called off his engagement. After his relationship ended, one night the future couple were in a recording studio and she tripped into his arms. Yes, this is real life, everyone. In a moment, everything changed. We started kissing. That night, I moved into Lisa's bedroom. Destiny had led us here. With every passing hour, our love blossomed, he said. The duo went on a trip to Las Vegas for Lisa's birthday in 1987. They left for the trip dating and came back married. Yep, they eloped. A year after they tied the knot, they welcomed their daughter, Zoe. Oh, absolutely. It's all, it's all about that. It's, we are one family. We love and support each other. And uh, it's a beautiful thing. When the pair began dating, Kravitz was a relative unknown. In fact, he was often referred to in the press as Mr. Bonet. Despite craving a professional identity of his own, he said, I didn't care. She was like a female version of me. That woman inspired me so much. It was a magical time that she and I shared. I just opened up artistically. In Kravitz's memoir, Let Love Rule, he went into some detail not only about how difficult it was to decide on a baby name, but also about what happened the night Zoe was conceived. We didn't need a thing. We didn't need clothes. We bathed in the ocean. We made love, he said. Lenny said in an interview that naming the Big Little Eyes actress was harder than they imagined. Zoe's mom is very intuitive and very spiritual, so all of our egos came out of it. We had picked this name and we were happy with it. But when she was born, the chosen name didn't fit. It was a week she didn't have a name, and we were fine with that. Her mother said she looks like Zoe. I knew that that was the correct name. Lenny adores his daughter and praises her for all her success. He said Zoe grew up to be the most real person he knows. I know that Zoe has to be who she is, and I'm not trying to stifle that, nor did I ever try to stifle that. I tried to give her the same steps, <laughs> you know? and make sure she had her foundation. Even though she had two parents who were famous, she didn't let it hinder her in any way. I'm so proud to be Zoe's dad and that God saw it fit for us all to experience each other. It's been the most beautiful gift, he said. The couple had a love that many envied for years, but then in 1991, they separated. They finalized their divorce two years later. But what could have caused the split of one of the most iconic couple in Hollywood? Kravitz opened up about the demise of the relationship. He said he thinks he just wasn't ready for such a big commitment, and he needed a break. Lenny had gone through a lot of emotional things in that time as a lot of his family had passed away. Lisa didn't really open up about what led to the split or how she felt after, but Lenny did. I was in a tremendous amount of pain when we broke up. Tremendous. For like six months, I only slept for two hours a day, from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. The rest of the time I was just up, like a zombie. I was floored, he said. How heartbreaking is that? He used his music as a form of therapy to cope with losing Bonet. He wrote his hit song, It Ain't Over Till It's Over, which was all about what he went through during the divorce. I wrote that to my ex-wife. We had our child and a great life together. 
So it was a very difficult time, he said. Many have speculated that it may have also been the musician's past that led to their divorce. It may also be the reason why he has never remarried. Lenny's relationship with his father was complicated. Lenny recalled the time his parents talked to him about his father's cheating. And in that moment, what his father told him was, you'll do it too. Lenny didn't understand the severity of that statement. He was waiting for his father to say something that acknowledged the depth of the situation. That would have been his cue to say, you know, son, I was wrong. I hope you learn from this, etc. But he said what he said, and wow, that was really hardcore, he said. Yeesh. After Bonet and Kravitz divorced, he had an active dating life. The musician was known to have been with Vanessa Parody, Adriano Lima, and Nicole Kidman. Lenny never got engaged or married to anyone after Lisa. He did say he would love to be married again, but it just must be the right person at the right time. Like the great parents they are, the pair put all their hurt feelings aside for the good of their daughter. We had Zoe, which is, I see now, what it was all about. It was really all about bringing this beautiful child to the planet, and also sharing the love that Lisa and I had. When we're all together now, we're one big happy family, the musician said. But the best part about Lisa and Lenny's divorce has to be the blended family they built. The pair truly peaked decades after the relationship ended. They managed to not only keep a healthy co-parenting relationship, but also stay best friends. It seemed to uh, be in awe of it. it. It seems very normal to me, but I, I suppose a lot of people don't have that situation when they've gone through breakthroughs and new marriages and so forth. Zoe's mom and I now are best friends. We're actually like brother and sister. Whoa, talk about friendly exes. Bonet began dating Aquaman star Jason Momoa in 2005. They got married in 2017 and shared two children together. Momoa and the actress just recently divorced this year. Not only does Lenny have a close friendship with Lisa, he has an even closer friendship with her now ex-husband Jason. People can't believe how tight Jason and I are, or how tight I still am with Zoe's mom. We just do it because that's what you do. You let love rule, right? Obviously after a breakup, it takes some work and time. But as far as Jason and me, the moment we met we were like, oh yeah, I love this dude, he said. Is it just us or did Lisa hit the jackpot with these two? It seems no matter where Bonet and Jason stand with one another, Kravitz and the actor's friendship remains rock solid. For the Aquaman star's birthday, his bestie Lenny posted a photo of the entire blended family together and said, Happy birthday, Jason. I'm proud to call you my brother. One love. One family. Jason's a big teddy bear. He's a kid at heart and that's why I love him. We really love each other. We're not only family, but friends. How adorable is this bromance? We love the maturity and the mutual adoration between these two. The photo prompted Lisa to start trending on Twitter. People were praising her taste in men and her ability to foster a friendship between her husband and ex. One user tweeted, It's time we acknowledge Lisa Bonet is a sorceress and ask her to teach us her ways. It even had actress Holly Robinson Pete celebrate the three performers for having such a healthy and positive blended family. Listen, this bro love is some evolved blended family goals, she said. It's not only Twitter that praises these exes for their healthy relationship, their daughter does too. She loves how easy it makes things that her parents are still very close. She was only three years old when they split. The actress is grateful she never had to call herself a child of divorce because of how close her parents remained. This blended family loves and supports each other like nothing you've ever seen before. When they are all together, they truly are one big happy family. It's beautiful to see and it just shows you what can be done. They experienced a deep love for one another that still carries on to this day, just in a different way. The pair proved that it is possible to let love rule.